Least Surname Meaning in History, presented by CO... Least Surname Meaning in History, presented by COADB.com. Surname Meaning. It is an English topographic surname denoting someone who lived near a meadow or a patch of arable land, derived from the Old English word lee, meaning wood or glade, referring to a forest, clearing, or meadow. Surname meaning, it is an English habitational surname denoting a person from any of the many places of England named Lee, such as those in Buckinghamshire, Essex, Hampshire, and Kent. Early bears included Ulrich de la Lee in Northamptonshire, England in 1148, Turcod de la Lee in Warwickshire in 1193, Roger de Lees of Norfolk in 1272, Richard de la Lee in Wiltshire in 1272, and Philip de la Lee in Scotland in 1296. The Lee family of Stanton, Roden, and afterwards of Langley and Cotton Hall in Shropshire, England, traces its ancestry back to Reginald de la Lee, who was sheriff in 1201 and son of Hugo de Leia. Noble titles held included the Lee Baronetcy of Langley in the county of Wiltshire, a title created in the Baronetage of England in 1620 for Sir Humphrey Lee, who was fourth in descent from Richard Lee, Sheriff of Shropshire in 1479. And he was succeeded by his son, Sir Richard Lee, who sat in the House of Commons. The Lee Baronetcy of Quarrenden in the county of Buckinghamshire was created in 1611 for Sir Henry Lee, who was son of Sir Robert Lee of Holcott. His cousin who we see on the right, Sir Henry Lee of Ditchley, son of Anthony Lee, was Queen's champion and master of the armories under Queen Elizabeth I. And here we see Ditchley House, the family estate. Sir Edward Lee, the fifth baronet of Quarrenden, was elevated to the peerage as Viscount Quarrenden and Earl of Lichfield in 1677 in anticipation of his marriage to the king's daughter, Lady Charlotte Fitzroy, who we see here. The Lee Baronetcy of Hartwell in the county of Buckinghamshire was created in 1660 for Sir Thomas Lee, a member of Parliament. Here we see the estate of Hartwell, as well as Sir William Lee, who died in 1754, British jurist and politician. Another member of the family, William Lee of Totteridge Park in 1731, and another member, Sir George Lee, who died in 1758. Landed gentry included Lee of Barna in County Tipperary, Ireland, who descended from Henry Lee of Craig Castle. Lee of Dynas Powys in Glamorganshire, Wales who descended from Henry Lee, Merchant of Hull, and Mayor of Hull. Lee of Grove Hall in County Yorkshire. It's like they descended from Thomas Lee of Leeds. Lee of the Abbey in Norrisborough. Lee of Kingsgate House in Hampshire, England. Lee of Holborough Court in Kent. Notables included Charles Lee, an English-born American military officer who served in the Continental Army. And he sold his commission after the Seven Years' War and served for a time in the Polish Army. Robert Edward Lee, born 1807, was a Confederate general during the American Civil War. Henry Lee III was an early American patriot and U.S. politician who was the governor of Virginia. He also served as a cavalry officer in the American Revolution, earning him the nickname Light Horse Harry. Richard Henry Lee, born in 1732, was a signer of the Declaration of Independence and senator from Virginia. Colonel Thomas Lee, born around the year 1690, was a planter and politician in colonial Virginia. Colonel Richard Lee II, born 1647, was a planter, politician, and military officer for Westmoreland in Virginia. Richard Lee I, 
arrived in Virginia in 1639 and was a member of the Virginia House of Burgesses, and he served as Attorney General. And Francis Lightfoot Lee, born 1734, was a signer of the Declaration of Independence. Early settlers included Bridget and Christopher Lee, who came to Massachusetts and Virginia, respectively, in 1623. Priscilla Lee came to Virginia in 1600. In 1700, Humphrey Lee came in 1705. Brian Lee came to Virginia in 1711. Philip in 1712. And Benjamin Lee and Edward Lee arrived in Halifax, Canada in 1750. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.